Hey, what's going on guys? Sorry I haven't been uh, making too many videos lately. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on, you know, with the, I'm just, the China flu. Um, but I uh, just wanted to let you know what I got going on. I hope everybody's okay. I hope you're staying safe. Uh, I hope everybody is well stocked. Um, I know at least a lot of the channels that I listen to, they're uh, pretty well stocked on their supplies. Um, I've been doing up the garden for 2020. Got me some grow lights. Uh, I know I'm not. You're not supposed to start corn indoors, but I started my corn indoors. Uh, they say it's not. You, it gets agitated when you transplant it. We'll see. Uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, I got beans growing, peas growing. They seem to be exploding, and I've been kind of flipping out because I've been trying to get the garden down there ready because I, I got to put up fencing so the deer don't get in there. So I got uh, red cabbage, green cabbage. Um, you're not supposed to start the zucchini indoors so that'll be done outside and I'll also plant some more corn. That way I've got a rotation and it's not all ready at once. Um, what else am I growing? Um, sweet baby tomatoes. Uh, that was a free gift from the nursery that I bought it, uh, bought the seeds from. I got some Romas going, so I can try to make some sauce this year. Uh, I'm also going to set up uh, a sprinkler system. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on that, show you guys how that uh, turns out. Should be pretty neat. Um, what else do I have going? Yeah, and we still got the MGB to do, but... Um, also wanted to make this video um, on something that I purchased a couple days ago and I'm actually glad that I got it when I did. Uh, got my Smith & Wesson. MNP 9mm 2.0. This is actually the very first full size 9mm that I've owned. I have shot full size 9mm, but I've never, uh, I've never gotten the chance to own one. I've always had uh, concealed carry pistols. I think they're okay for concealed, you know, it, I've got a PT-111, uh, Taurus PT-111 G2, or is it a G3? I think it's a G2, and, I mean, it, it I, I'm able to shoot it left-handed okay. I wanted something that was going to give me a little bit less uh, recoil not that the 9 millimeter gives you a lot of recoil but I wanted a full size 9 millimeter this is for my defense now I always do keep my 357 by the bed um, that's a fine handgun but shooting 357's it's gonna have a little bit of a recoil so, I wanted to make sure that I got this. It is, oh, I thought it was Amperdex. Oh, this is Amperdexter's hole 17. It is clear. And I am actually glad that I, I did get this when I did because I just went and looked online from where I got it from and it's now a hundred dollars more and it's out of stock so 
the way that it feels in my hand, I like, I love the way that it feels in my hand. It feels very, very good. Uh, I did put a comment on Dave Gass, one of Dave Gass's videos, so that he would actually, he's really going to like uh, this video. Uh, he did mention the MNP. He doesn't have this one, but he did mention the MNP in his video, so said, dude, I think you're going to like what I've got coming as long as I was able to pick it up today, and I was able to pick it up today. Um, comes with the three different types of grips. A lock. And two magazines. I can't wait to actually get out and uh, shoot this weapon. Um, now I'm sorry for making this video a little bit late, um, but they were showing uh, the two-part episode of Radar's Goodbye on MASH, and those are my favorite episodes. If you haven't seen those two episodes, you need to watch those two episodes. You're going to get a tear in your eye. It's just, if you've watched MASH or know anything about MASH and got gotten in with the characters and things like that, it's a little touchy. So, the other thing that I wanted to let you guys know is I know there's a lot of, there's a, from what I've been hearing, there's been a lot of people that are buying their first handgun. Um, I was on another channel. Actually, I think it was I think it was Dave Gass's channel. If you don't know who Dave Gass is, um, go to go to his videos. Uh, all you have to do is just type in Dave Gass, and uh, his videos should come up. He should come up. Uh, I think he was telling me that there were some people that were in the gun store that didn't even know how to rack uh, any of their weapons. So, if you are new to shooting or any type of weapon if I get that these are a must I do highly recommend these these are nine millimeter Luger snap caps if you are unfamiliar with your weapon any type of weapon get some snap caps of the same caliber and familiar size with the weapon familiar familiar Familiarize yourself with the weapon. Get to know the weapon. Know what it does. Know where the trigger pull is. How long it is. Okay. I have I have snap caps for every single weapon, with the exception of my AR-15. I know how to handle that weapon. I'm I was already familiar with that weapon, but any other. All of my other weapons, see I bought these when I bought my PT-111, my Taurus. Uh, I bought 380 uh, for my wife. Uh, she likes that 380. I like it too. I, I just don't like the magazine size. Uh, I bought 308s uh, for the BA. And I also bought snap caps for my shotgun because I am not familiar with how to handle and how to use a shotgun so I had to get familiar with it so I was able to load it figure out how to load it how the safety goes how to charge it everything so I absolutely highly recommend that when you do purchase your weapon that you purchase these snap caps they're not very expensive They act just like regular bullets. The only difference is these ones do not fire. But this will also get you very familiar with your weapon. Couldn't find these earlier. I'm actually glad that I that I found them because even though I'm I am familiar with nine millimeters, certain weapons are different. They handle different. And also read read your instructions. Take the handgun apart and put it back together. And then once you're done taking it apart, 
or putting it back together, take it apart again. Get familiarized familiarize yourself with how to break that weapon down. So push one of them in the round. It's got the indicator up there that it is chambered. That's nice. I like that. Safety. That's nice. That is really, really nice. I can't wait to go out and shoot this weapon. So even though I do have snap caps in here, I am not going to pull the trigger with it pointing up. I am going to pull the trigger while it is pointing down. I'm going to see how far it goes out before it pops back. Hmm. Cool. So, and that's the other thing it doesn't do. You're going to have to pull it out. So let's see whether or not it will eject. And it does. And you can keep doing that. You can cycle through it as many times as you want. Cycle through it. There we go. So all the new gun owners out there, please be safe with your weapons. Take care of them. Familiar, familiarize yourself with that weapon. Get to know that weapon and handle it very very well do not try not to buy a weapon load it up and then keep it keep it beside your bed expecting you to be good with it train with your weapon be very safe with your weapon as everybody in my family would like to say this is not a toy remember Always respect the moment you disrespect this, you could hurt yourself, your life, or somebody else's life. Do not disrespect this weapon or any weapon. Know what you're doing. Familiarize yourself with all of the laws as well. I will learn how to break that down shortly. Um, that's the other thing. If you go online, type in your weapon's name or what your weapon is, and put breakdown. There will be somebody on YouTube that will show you how to break this weapon down, everything down. Okay? The instructions also tell you how to do it. Although, if you do get some instructions, I do believe the instructions on how to take apart my G2, I believe it doesn't tell you to pull the trigger to release it. There's, uh, there's something in the instructions that it has to tell you that you need to do, but it doesn't tell you, that it doesn't tell you to do it. I don't know why, but get online, research your weapon. All right, there'll be some more videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, tomorrow it's actually, well, tomorrow it's supposed to be nice, but I really need to get th things set up for the garden. Uh, so I don't know whether or not I'm gonna be able to shoot this tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to rain all day Friday. Maybe it'll be nice Saturday and I can go out there and take the camera out and uh, pop off some rounds. Alright guys, take it easy. Uh, uh, stay safe. Don't panic. Chill out. Relax. Alright? You guys take it easy. Peace.